Okay, here it comes. Packy and Marlin for the Super Nintendo from 1994. This is a special episode for me because in this game, you play as elephants with diabetes, uh, alabetics, if you will. So this is a diabetes education game. Those of you that know me in real life know that I've had diabetes since I was 13. Uh, those of you that know me from YouTube know that I play the shit out of some video games. So this ought to be a match made in heaven. I played this game a little bit. I just wanted to share it. Um, maybe learn a thing or two about diabetes. But let's get some backstory here. So, Packy and Marlin are at diabetes camp. Which I did go to uh, before. And rats, these dick rats, throw all the diabetic supplies, all the food, everything that they need all over the place. All the insulin, the glucagons, the syringes, everything is everywhere. Seems like a hate crime and a real dick move to me. But it is up to Packy and Marlin to get gather up all this stuff, bring it back, while also eating a balanced breakfast, lunch, dinner, all that, keeping their diabetes managed. Um, let's start off with the first level. So let me tell you how these things go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. First, we got to check our blood sugar, of course. The first level is before breakfast. They got to check their blood sugar. Here's my glucometer. This is what I use to check my blood sugar on. So I am just like the elephants. Uh, yeah press A to check the blood sugar and usually this is a number not like a scale like that and of course we need our insulin here's my insulin boom let me see if I can replicate I got a syringe right here too so well I can almost like yeah you see that I know I know what these elephants deal with man y'all non-diabetics don't know what this is like y'all are playing Super Mario World and we get this shit because this game sucks Okay, so here is level one. It is our breakfast menu, which consists of an apple, cereal, egg, and toast. And you gotta find the medical ID. Check it. The medical ID? Right there. Not even scripted. Not that scripted. I always have it on. But let's see why this sucks. Okay, here's Packy taken to the air. And we've gotta collect our breakfast. This is the objective in uh, the first level, in each level, but. Since this is breakfast, we gotta find our menu items, and then we also have to find three animals wearing red hats that ask us diabetes uh, trivia. So that's interesting. I'm gonna get this egg right here because the egg is on the menu. Now, if you look at the top left, you'll see uh, some funky little pictures there. The first one is a muffin, and that's our bread group, but it has our food groups up there for diabetics, which is uh, bread, fruit, meat, uh, milk, vegetable, and fat. So as you see, I already got the cereal. Like your video game instincts would tell you to get that, like it's a power up or something. But if I get that, I cannot beat the level. That is why this game sucks and why nobody made it very far. So if you see, there's the toast, which I think is a serving of bread as well as fat because of the butter on it so I should get two green numbers here now nah, see now you see my bread I've had all the bread that I need I still need a fruit I've had all the meat and milk and vegetables and fat I need for breakfast so now all I need to do is find oh these guys here's one here here's our first trivia question what should you do if you have low blood sugar I mean you have some orange juice or something right what what would you think skip a meal Nothing because there's no treatment or drink orange juice followed by a protein snack. All right, I left the protein snack part out, but that's correct. So I wonder, like, because this is made for kids. Oh, you see, I almost got that. I almost accidentally got that toast. Had I gotten it, I would not be able to beat this level. But I wonder, like, with some of the questions, uh, like those stupid answers. Oh, there's a banana because I need a fruit. Boom. See, now you see how I got all green numbers up there? Now I just need to answer some trivia questions and then I'm good to fight the boss for the breakfast level. There's another trivia question right there. Let's see what this one is. Hey, what helps you feel good if you have diabetes? Insulin only, blood glucose testing, insulin, food, and exercise, or breakfast and dinner only? You see, now do they put like the... Do they make some of them really obvious just like to educate kids? Because like not to make it more like school. 
Uh, cause that would, you know, who wants to, who wants to do school and a video game at once? Ignore your video game instincts of getting the apple and just move on. Just move on. Ignore the rats. And then I also, I also have to find the medical ID and one more lion in a red hat to get through the first level. And then I have to do that like 30 more freaking times. So I've never beat this game before. I want to see the ending because, I mean, maybe... Maybe nobody's ever beaten this game and this is where the cure lies all the way at the end, you know, I mean Suffering there's the medical ID. There's the medical ID. So now I just need to get to the end and Oh wait, no, I still got one more question right there. Here's our third question Should you take your insulin in the exact same place every day on your body? It does not matter. No or yes. Pretty obvious answer is no. I learned that one the hard way um, back in like 98. Uh, gave myself the same shot and the too many. It, it, it was a whole thing. I don't even want to talk about it. It was terrible, but I learned that one the hard way. No peanuts. I think we're coming up to the boss of the first level. Yeah, see, so right here where you see the arrows, if you did not have the accurate amount of food or um, the three star uh diabetes trivia like i had you cannot do it and you cannot come to the boss and uh a lot of people got side distracted by that because you would just get all the apples or whatever thinking that you need it and just never be able to beat the level did I kill him? Okay, so that's level one down. And because I did such a great job eating, congratulations, Pecky's Blood Goo Close is in the safe zone. Perfect BG. A 250 bonus. See, you don't get bonus points in real life. In real life, you just get to live a little bit longer. When is your blood glucose level usually highest? One and a half hour after meal? During a meal? Before a meal? I know the answer to you. It's a half hour after a meal. You are sweating, shaking, and hungry. What could that mean? My blood sugar is okay. I have normal blood sugar, or my blood sugar is low. All right, come on, man. That one's too much of a gimme. If your blood sugar reading is low, what should you do? Call a friend, take extra insulin, have fruit juice, or raisins. That's an easy one. What is hypoglycemia? Sugary foods, low blood sugar, or high blood sugar. Damn. Dude, that's kind of a hard way. Uh, hypoglycemia, I think, is low because high blood sugar is hyperglycemia, right? Am I right? Yes. So the boss of this level is a boxing kangaroo. That's pretty cool, right? I kicked his ass. When is the best time to exercise? Right before meals, never, or one hour after meals? I'm thinking an hour after meals doesn't seem that... Yeah, okay. Why should you carry a snack when exercising? Because I can eat it to prevent low blood sugar, it will help me avoid muscle spasms, or I can take it instead of taking insulin. Uh, yeah, well, those of you that don't know, exercise does make your blood sugar go down, so that's that one. What is a late symptom of hyperglycemia, which is high blood sugar, nausea or vomiting, sweating, shaking? It actually could be any of them, really. Shaking's more of a low thing, but I've vomited from high blood sugar before. Yep, that's the right answer. What does insulin peak mean? An insulin bottle is full, a syringe is full of insulin, or the correct answer, insulin is working its hardest. Okay, I've been playing this game for like two and a half hours. I'm fighting a fish underwater by shooting him with water. And I just, dude, this game is just boring. It's just boring and I don't want to play anymore. When are you most likely to get ketoacidosis? When my body doesn't have enough insulin, when I have an insulin reaction, or when I have hypoglycemia? I know the answer to this one because uh, I've been there, and it sucks, and it's when my body doesn't have enough insulin. Do 
before you exercise, it is okay to take an extra shot of insulin, eat a light snack, or take a glucagon. Do you know the answer? Did you know that the answer is eat a light snack? Man, being at this diabetes camp, it makes me think of when I had to go to diabetes camp. My parents made me go to diabetes camp when I was 14. I really wasn't into it, but I wasn't into, I just, I really wasn't into camp, period. Uh, let alone with a bunch of diabetics. All in all, I mean, all in all, it was a good experience overall. I'm glad I went, but like, not so much the diabetes thing as I'm just not a camp guy. And I remember specifically, like the fir my first day there, I was so freaked out because like, I mean, I was 14. I just wanted to stay home and play video games. And I was with a bunch of strangers. It was my first year with a bunch of returning campers. But, like, the opening ceremony thing, they it was at this place called Camp Medicha. And I specifically remember that Medicha, M-I-D-I-C-H-A, because, like, the ceremonies ended, not ceremony, but, like, the opening ended with all them getting up and, like, singing this song, one of the few songs that they sang all the time, where it was like, we go to Camp M-I-D-I-C-H-A. We take our insulin shots every day. And like everybody was up and like dancing and like into it. Like I didn't know the words. I didn't know any of the people. And I'm just like, what the fuck, dude? I have seven days of this shit. Somebody's got to save me. Your friend with diabetes got bruised. What should you do? I should give him an extra snack. I should do nothing special. I should take him to the doctor. I mean, a bruise is nothing special, right? I mean, you don't go to the doctor over a bruise, do you? Okay. Okay. You are with a group that makes fun of you for ordering frozen yogurt when they order your sundaes. What do you do? Um, get some new fucking friends isn't on the list, but explain that I have diabetes, tell that I'm allergic to sundaes, or order hot fudge and throw it away when they're not watching. I'm kind of surprised it's that um, ordering a sundae and pretending you're not diabetic isn't a choice because that's what some kids might actually do. But explain that I have diabetes. This is, I mean, that's kind of cool that they put a question like that in there knowing that as a diabetic you're certainly going to get singled out. Um, for your, you know, for your food choices alone. But hey, I just thought of a joke. What do you call a newborn elephant? An L infant? Huh? Fuck, I've been playing this game way too long, dude. It's melting my brain. What is an early symptom of hyperglycemia, which is high blood sugar? Wait, so it's not low blood sugar. Hyperactivity, thirst, and frequent urination. That is definitely it. What is true about insulin? It is made by the pancreas. It is a sugar made in the liver or it grows on a very rare tree. It certainly doesn't grow on a tree, but yeah, your pancreas makes insulin. Here lies a body. What the fuck? Dude, I hope that wasn't from diabetes complications, dude. That would be some morbid shit. Your friend says kids with diabetes should not play sports. How should you react? Start a fight just to show that I'm in great shape? <laughs> oh, that's definitely happened to me before. Explain that exercise is good for everyone. Agree with my friend. You know, just because... I've been in my fair share of wrestling matches on the floor because somebody insulted my diabetes. This is the right answer in my case. Not in theirs though. Explain that exercise is good for everyone. Oh, hey, I learned something. Look at all those red flags. 23 boring, tedious, repetitive, mind numbing levels later. I am at the last level, finally. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, we got King Rat. 
We got King Rat. This is him. This is the son of a bitch that threw our supplies and our food everywhere. And you gotta be a sick bastard to take little elephant kids diabetes supplies and food and throw them everywhere. Oh, kicked his ass. Is the game over? Less than climactic. Congratulations, Pecky's blood glucose is in the safe zone. Perfect bonus. Is the game over now? Fireworks. Hey, I did it. I did it. I beat the whole game. It only took over five hours. Uh, to be exact, five, five hours, six minutes, and 19 seconds of tedious food collecting, supply collecting, education. I only got one question wrong. Uh, what the hell? Game over? And then that's it? Then it just right to game over. Packy Marlin brought to you by a bunch of assholes that couldn't put an ending in the game. That was a huge waste of time. I feel like a giant loser for spending five hours and six minutes doing that. Um, don't ever play this game. If you know somebody that's diabetic, just, I mean, give them some attention. Give them some money. Like their YouTube video or whatever. But I've had enough of this. I'm out.